Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Windows 10 is not shutting down properly upon clicking the shutdown option on the start menu. So whether you open up the start menu and select the power button and then select shut down, or if you prefer to right click on the start button and then select shut down through this menu, and neither one appears to be working for you. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu, type in control panel, Best match should come back with control panel. Uh, just give it a moment and you want to go select that to open it up. Select the view by to large icons and then select power options. Select where it says choose what the power button does on the left side and then select change settings that are currently unavailable. If you see a fast startup option you want to uncheck it and then select save changes and then attempt to restart your computer and then once your computer is restarted see if that has resolved the problem. Another thing you can try there will be a command in the description of the video I want you guys to copy that and then we're going to open up a command prompt so type in CMD into the start menu search best match should come back with command prompt right click on it and then select run as administrator if you're prompted with a user account control window select yes and now I'm going to have a command like I said in the description of the video and you can type this in manually if you want. It's basically just shut down space forward slash s, then a space forward slash f, and then another space forward slash t, and there's finally another space, and then I have the number zero after that. The zero is subjective. If you want to change it, that's basically how long Windows 10 is before it will automatically shut down. So I have it set to zero seconds. Make sure you have everything saved before you run this command. So we're going to go ahead and just copy that from my description, go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here, right click on it, select edit, and then we're going to paste this in. And then once you hit enter, your system should immediately shut down. And then just attempt to restart it, and that should hopefully resolve the problem. If you're still having an issue, you can also attempt to system restore. It's also worth another try there. And you can also run the system file checker utility, so the SFC, and then space forward slash scan now. So you could also run a uh, system file checker utility scan as well. So just giving you guys another option there. So SFC and then a space forward slash scan now in an elevated or administrator command prompt window. So pretty straightforward tutorial here, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.